Quantum Leap, Star Crossed, June 15th, 1972. It all started when a time travel experiment I was conducting with a little caca, a blink of a cosmic clock. I went from quantum physicist to Air Force test pilot, which could have been fun if I knew how to fly. Fortunately, I had a help observer from the project named Owl. Unfortunately, Owl is a hologram. So, so all we can lend is moral support. Anyway, here I am, bouncing around in time, putting things right that once went wrong, a sort of time-travelling Lone Ranger, if I was my tonto. I didn't even need a mask or boy. The trouble with quantum leaping is it's just about the time I start to enjoy being a hero, a big guy, remote control switch his channels on me. Now, all I have to do is figure out who I am, where I am, and all... Why are these all women, young women, staring at me? So I were Tom Cruise. Where, where was I? You, you were explaining Heathcliff's obsession with Catherine, right? Right, Heathcliff's obsession, obsession with Catherine. Oh, Wuthering Heights, of course. Donna Bryant, do you think Heathcliff's obsession stands for Bronte's own tragic yearning for in Bromwell? Think, Bromwell? I think the woman was sexually suppressed far out, man. You think she wrote this because she was horny? Right on, great four of my, great four of my, my least favourite cliches, headbands, bell bottoms, flower power, English lit. What do you think, Dr. Bryant? Huh? Well, it's an interesting and difficult question. Uh, one that we have discussed tomorrow. No way, no Friday to classes in summer school, right? Oh, yes, uh, Dr. Bryant, Dr. Bryant. Been trying to get a moment alone with you all afternoon. Uh, Jamie Lee, uh, what can I do for you? Give me a life, my darling. Touch my hand and light my soul. Keats, no, your lecture on expressing love. My, I want to go home. You take, you live this way, Jamie Lee. Ah, I'm a teacher and you're the student. So no fraternizing. That's not what you said last night. I didn't. No, Donna, no, of course. This is Lawrence. Where you were going? After after to the rent, rent cellar. They closed between four and six in the summer. She's going to, in, going in, Donna. Eski works here. Jerry, we are here to have to talk. It's a matter of life and death. It put I put the tea on, Jamie Lee. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be in my rooms. What's wrong? Everything. Oh, don't say that. I know there's the situation. I believe our love will conquer all. Even Daddy, you're gonna be kidding. You've got to be kidding. I'm no, no, I'm not. I did it. I told Daddy everything from the first blush of love to that glorious night in the bell tower. Daddy was furious and threatened to have you horsewhipped within an inch of your life. Oscar said he'll kill you with bare hands. Oscar, and neither how it goes to the state Ohio State. He wants to pin me. Oh, Jerry, precious, it's all. So like Romeo and Juliet, great men want to worship, horsewhip and kill me. You plain Juliet? Juliet could have committed suicide. Suicide? Oh yes, of course, the love pack. Sam, we don't want that to happen, do we? Uh, no, uh, Jamie Lee, we're not committing suicide. What else is there, there to do? Have a cup of tea, precisely what Jane and Edward would have done. Jane and Edward? Uh, Jane Eyre and Edward Rochester. Charlie and Charlotte Bronte, Starquest Lovers. How do you, how, how can you teach English literature if you don't know that? But anyway, we've got to get out of here, quick, get this one, get out of this one quick this time. So you can see there's a 99% chance I don't want this one quick. I'll be, you'll be able to really, when, what? Hark, my sweetie pie, Jamie Lee. I want you to take this cup of tea, go straight into your dorm. You can tell your father, Oswald, Oscar, whatever, tell him. It was a joke, all made up because you missed them. I wanted to get the attention. But it's not a joke. Oh, yes it is. It's a school, isn't it? You're afraid of losing your tenure. I'm afraid of losing my life. It comes to that. So be it. Our love can live without those, without those temporary bodies. Oh, Romeo and Juliet, Lancelot and Gouverneur, has crested over the towers of Camelot. The moon has crashed, crested over the towers of Camelot. I know, it's your better, you better watch it, Sam. You're going to end up marrying her too. They married June 20th, 
1972, nice little intimate shotgun wedding, 12 gauge. Think it, I think it was. That's what's been here. That's what's, what's, we're here for, you see. These two didn't ruin uh, both their lives, of course. There's not much more that, that could go wrong with Professor Bryant. But that's why I'm, not, that's not why I'm here. Oh, I'm here for to get a second chance before I get a first one. You want to let, let me in the joke? Donna Reeves is here. Not, that's not funny, Sam. Not true. Didn't you see? Al, I'm here to get Donna, uh, get Donna a second chance. Ah, a second chance. We're here to see the good of me. Doesn't make the biggest mistake on life. How do you do know, how do you know about, about that Ziggy? Cause he computed down to the decimal point. I don't give a damn about computer says. You're t- talking about women. I love, about a woman I love and my future. I'm here. She's here. We've got a second chance. And no more turning around going to stop me from taking it. Not even you, Sam. You're breaking your own inside a trader rule. What? Quandalite rule. Number uno. The time traveller does not take advantage of his position to prove or alter his life. I made it rule. Yes, you swore everyone to blood oath of allegiance of a, to a penalty of death. Ah, that's my interpretation. If I made the rule, why can we send it? So I ordered, not without committee approval, and where's the man? We'll never give it. Where's the man? Short fat guy, Nick, Nickers. Mmm, tall skinny guy with stone pipe hat. He's got a Lincoln fixation. He also controls the committee. He wants you to declare non compass mentis. Let him, in case you haven't noticed. All the committee doesn't run our, well, the committee doesn't run the project for, or, or me anymore. Pretty straight for the seventies. Of course, this is a Catholic. This is a Catholic girls' college. Look at you! Oh, it's psychedelic. It must be a black night light or something. You look like a ghost. Look, there she is. There's Donna. Oh my God! It is her. Now do you leave me, Donna? Here, here, here. I'm here. Fate has put us together again. When I saw her today, I couldn't believe it. She was so young when we first met. We just left a Starbridge Break Pocket Project with burning twenty thirty. Don't do this, Sam. A wedding on the 5th of June in Old Chapel, Mr. Chapel. It was hot and I was sweating. You know, what well, is more than nerves for heat then. Everyone went home because I didn't show up for the wedding. No, you showed up. She didn't. It had something to do with her father. He didn't die, did he? I wouldn't, have done, I wouldn't know. If I did, I couldn't tell you. I break the rules because before, before giving you personal data. If I do it again, the committee is threatening to remove me from the project. They can't remove you. You only contact that they have with me. Al, I want you to run a chicken. She just smelled the same, of course. I didn't. God, or how I wanted to tell her not boozed out. Professor, she sees that I was her Sam, the man she loved, ten years from now. I was doing, I was doing what we dreamed of. I... Travelling time was what when what can I get for you, Doctor Bryant? Uh Evian uh, Evian. A what? A Coke. A Coke would be fine. A Coke cheeseburger and fries. Medium rare on the burger. Hold the tomato with extra onion. She knew she knew how I liked my burger. Shove that up your circuit case circuit, Ziggy. Thank you, old Donna. Could I talk to you? Oh, I really don't have the time, Doctor Bryant. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, well, i just wait for you to finish work. Dr. Bryant, please, um, I'm quite capable of getting on an A in your class by simply doing the work. No, no, no. That's it. That's not that. It's not what I'm saying, Donna. I'm not what I look like. If you look into my eyes, you see that. Is this the best time? It's not a line. If you look into my eyes, you'll see another soul. You've got, you've had too much to drink. I need a drop. Is it silly? Yeah. So he said he'd do it anyway. Please don't talk to any me anymore, Dr. Bryant. Donna, hey, I thought I told you to leave her and I go alone. Donna's your girl? Jamie Lee's my girl. Oscar, yeah, Oscar, you're here to break your face. Look, Oscar, why don't we talk about this? It's man to man. Don't like what you hear? You always break my face, for God. First, Jamie Lee is crazy about you. Yeah, right. That's why she all, all, why we can talk about this. Her precious Jerry, which is what pr- proves my point. 
She, she, she was crazy about me. She never mentioned me. But since she's really crazy about you, all she does is talk about you. She's trying to make you jealous while he's working, Oscar. Jamie Lee once told me, you're the only man who ever made the earth move for her. Yeah, that isn't what she told me, isn't it? Of course not. She's frustrated with you. She thinks you only want her for her body. Oh, she's got a great body. Also had a mind, Oscar, Oscar, a deeply poetic mind. If you ever want her to love you, you're going to get, get your romantic side. Let your romantic side of you free. Romantic side of me? Isn't Jamie Lee in your thoughts day into day? Yeah, except for wrestling practice. Oh, well, tell her you don't mention the wrestling, but don't mention the wrestling practice stuff. Package to practice stuff. Take a romantic move. Make, make, take her to a romantic movie. Can lit dinner. Read a po- poem. I did. You did? Once, there was a lady from Kent, Oscar Lyrics. I don't know exactly what I had in mind. Look, read her romantic poet. Ke- Ellie, Keats, Keats. I know. What do you mean? You don't know. You're the professor. I mean, the choice is yours. Tell how beautiful she is. How her perfume drives you crazy. How you can't get your eyes off her, your, out of her mind, your mind. Her lips, how you, how wet and how juicy they are. Perfect as mush. I can't talk mush. To guys it's mush, to women it's romantic. Look, Oscar, Jamie Lee doesn't want a broken down, lit down lip professor. He wants a young football hero, wrestling, wrestling hero. It will be a little messy. Dr. Brian, I love Jamie Lee so much I'm willing to try anything. But I think you're feeding me a load of, line of crap. If it doesn't work, you can expect, one, you can expect me to be back. Break your face. That might help. Who's Donna? She wasn't fit. How? Where's Donna? She wasn't feeling hot. She went home. Did you want tomatoes on this? You don't. don't they don't put tomatoes on them. But I can put tomatoes on for you. Do you want tomatoes? You want? Well, you know what? I also was looking at the class schedule. Musky had two hundred and fifty three free delegates pledged to him and many endorsements. Musky met a McGovern. Today in Washington, it's a party to stand on. Be beautiful, successful is all. We, we didn't talk about the matter of endorsements. Would you like these support before you go to the convention? I love it. United States military command is so gone. So today, the day, yesterday's air attacks over North Carolina were the heaviest. There was a time when I cared about politics and making a history, but big picture seemed important next to getting a chance for Donna and I in the future. Brian has summed up my feelings with a fault between love and the noblest cause. There should be no contest. Love is only true satisfaction. You who, Lancelot, a fire burns deep by night. Feeling you brought this one on yourself. Have, where have you been? Waiting for the moon to cross over Camelot. See what I mean? You're not to rest. I was expecting guests. But you promised to be Lancelot next. Next sounds they're all the kind of kinky stuff in here. There's leather stuff. There's a Roman toga. There's a rubber stuff in here. Jamie Lee, don't you ever, don't you have important things to go do? Like homework. I try going to work on an A in English lit. Oh my God, Sam, you're gonna like see this, Jimmy Lee. You've got to forget about me. You've got to start just thinking about other men, like Oscar. He's just just a boy. That that boy wanted to break my face. He wanted to defend my honour. Oh, define honour. Oscar's willing to kill it for, for you. Don't you think you should at least give him a chance, Oscar? Oscar, look, believe me, Jamie Lee. He's the one for you, not me. Oh, you're both young. You've got the whole life in front of you. I'll tell him, tell him you better grow up. You both better grow up to be yuppies. Give him a chance. You're going to eat pasta and drive DMWs with fuzzy seats. Well, I think I should. Al, Donna, but it won't affect my love for you. Peace. Al, Donna knew how I wanted my cheeseburger. What? She looked in my eyes and she knew it was me. Well, how could she know it was you? She didn't meet you for 12 years. We start across love at souls that's uncrossed. Well, you know, I've been working on that. I think I can fix it, but I have to locate her father. Was well, no, 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 could you, Al, couldn't you? No, 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 I can't help you. I can't help you, Sam. If you even try, you're going to 
pull the plug. You're not kidding. We're cementing some foundation right now, arguing the authority to do it. You've broken your rules. You've broken their rules. You've broken our rules. You've got to stop thinking about your little heart. Stop thinking about your noggin. Is that what you want to do? Hey, if some woman stood me up for the altar, amigos, amigos. Actually, I wish a couple of them had. Don't give me that sick puppy look. Stop it. I never scratch you behind the ears again. I stop it. Don and father was clearly it. Career military. <clears throat> no, Sam. He was in the army. I think, Sam. No, no. Buns and burners. There's no other smell like it. It's a common denominator. I make all science departments equal. My life's blood, and I'm trapped in Mr. English lit. There's no justice, thanks. You forget the Hubble's constant and the red shift. Right, your calculations in the right direction. You're only not implying your astrophysics, bending the universe. Ever read the Mara's removal atom? No, then came the explosion, followed by the filling of the uh, heavens and the smoke. It, could, it could came too late, too late, too much. Visualization, the splendor of creation's birthday. <clears throat> it's beautiful, it's poetry and physics. Why do you know so much about this? Well, I read a lot. Pretty heady thing reading Einstein and more, not to mention math. What well, lured you into it? Guess I wanted to know what, how, why things happened to us. Don't you, don't you think you have a choice, do you? Well, I used to. I'm not sure anymore. Well, if you had any, if we did have a choice, I'm sure we'd make things a, a bit, happen a lot differently. Who knows? Maybe I'd go back in time and change it. What? Do you think that, you think that's silly? No, no, it should, if you could travel back in time. What would you go back to? Well, I was happiest. Maybe six or year, seven years old. Maybe your father left you. How do you know that? I guess somebody told me. Well, nobody could have told you because I'd never told anyone. Who the hell are you? Just a friend, look, Donna. I was just a guest. Please, please, I noticed you didn't have a list of father in your school record. You went by your maiden, mother's maiden name. What are you doing in my records? You're in my class. Let's just keep it in that and that. I have a string ferry in on time. Very complex and completely improbable. But... Provable, but your like your opinion is based on the expanding, but in inf- infinite universe, the universe is infinite, infinite, infinite. Maybe not. I mean, if not, that, that what time is infinite too. I have to go to the library. It's a nice public place, but only his own lifestyle. Time. Well, that's the way I see it. Oh, I think I'm getting a headache. Yeah. Well, it's a lot, a lot of kind of lot. To, oh no, Stacy. Got to be here in ten minutes. I have to be open tonight. I'm sorry, Dr. Bryant. I have the kitchen duty. Well, we'll continue this work after work. Sure, as long as it's public. I, bye. I'm not giving away any trade secrets, are you? How long have you been here? There. Oh, long enough to know you still could still construct an atom bomb if you had an atomic bomb. Ah, oh, L, nothing we discussed remotely is connected to atom nuclear detonation. Al, I'm just trying to you were not alone, nope. They can't they can't hear or see me. Thank goodness for God for the little Faith Wiseman the committee. I can't help you, Sam. You've got to Al, look. I figured it all out. Donna left me at the altar. Did the same to the guy she was engaged to before me. The pattern when she was eight, her father left and she never got over it. She Al, she blocked out her father's name. Do you see? Bernard's never going to risk being getting hurt by men, but like that again. She's got to go through life, leaving them before they can leave her. But if you can get Donna, her friend, her father together, who knows? You'll know you're all those six doctorates that you hold. Not one of them is his fet- psychiatry, medicines, yes. Phys- says it, phys- quantum physics, yes. Ancient languages, yes. Ancient languages, yes. Brilliant. Sherlock, hyper, hyperglyphics. I can read hyperglyphics. Well, you never know unless you try. Just a bunch of pictures to me. Ow, I can't remember what they are. That is the symbol for capital. Ah, oh, 
That was the ancient capital of Egypt, Memphis. He's in Memphis. No, I couldn't say that. Sam, no, it's not in Memphis. Maybe the capital of Egypt today. Don't tell me he's in Cairo. You're being too literal, Sam. But this hypographic is a symbol. Capital, um? Oh, the capital. You're trying to tell me he's in Washington. Good. Okay. My father's father. The C, D, C. And he's still in the army. That's a symbol of Pharaoh's army. Sam, square times five. And in the Pentagon. I'll give you one of these. If I could, I need this, that name. Al, there, now, that's ridiculous. Ah, Sam, see, he's scanning my side of his conversation. He thinks I'm trying to communicate to you in code what's hieroglyphics. Hey, how can I, how can I write Colonel Wotsby in hieroglyphics? Al, don't you call me, Dr. Bryant? If you ask to go to Washington, will you do it? Dr. Bryant was getting to like you. Don't treat me like I'm not treating you like that. If I was 15 years younger than that, than that or this, or was 15 years later, I would. But not now. I can't now, Donna. It's important. Hell, bring out a chaperone. We can be there in a day or two. Back, be there and be back in a day. So, to do what? Save a loved one. Colonel Wazowski. Thank God, what? Colonel you don't know me. My name is Bryant, Dr. Gerald Bryant. I'm facility at Lawrence College in Marlon, Ohio. Oh, yes, I was wondering if I could see you, Dr. Bryant. I ship out for Vietnam at 800 to tomorrow. V- Vietnam? I'm sure you heard of it. Of course, I just, Doctor, I'm very busy. Will you get the, to the point? It's your daughter, Colonel. Are you, just, are you there? Yes. Do you remember Donna? Of course I remember Donna. She needs you, sir. She's hurt. No, not physically, Colonel. Since you're shipping out tomorrow, I didn't have time to be subtle about this. I don't know why you left your family, I'm sure. You had your reasons. But you're leaving and never contacting her again has affected Donna's ability to love anyone else. To Bryant, the break up with her mother, I had nothing to do with her. You think, does not, does he think you, don't you think, does he not think you love her? And if you did, you wouldn't have abandoned her. I love my daughter. I forget, love her very much. I'm not going to re- open this wound. Not when I'm shipping out. Maybe when I come back. Will you forgive me, sir? Oh, but what if you don't come back? Goodbye, Dr. Bryant. Just a minute. Look, I told you I'll be back. Okay, all right. And my advice doesn't work. Right, right, right. What happened? I did what you told me. I read her poetry. I told her. Her uh, perfume made me horny, and uh, her lips made me even hornier. I got the idea, and then I got the idea. Look, Oscar, horny isn't romantic. Well, it is to me, not to Jamie Lee. To Jamie Lee, breathless and passion is romantic. Do you have a car? Triple deuce. Hurst, full speed, three and I know, rear end. Mag wheels, oh, it hold four people, maybe say me. Say me and Donna and Elsie, and you and Jamie Lee and uh, older. Yeah, in that order. Did you see him? Bang, you shot that medicine creature. It was a buck. Bambi was a buck. I want to change seats, please. Jamie Lee, Romeo, Hunted D. Did he did? Yes, he did. Oh, as well as Lancelot, Lancelot, you know. I bet Lancelot bought Grenadine a dollar a week. I watched a road on Staghants with Lennon. Read a book of Max Marks of Quiltlet practice of queer park. We sang dirges in the dark. The day the music died, fill them up. Okay, okay, where's the bathroom? Oh, back there. Where? There's a key. Key? We don't have no key. Ow, oh, thank God you're here, not here. I thought I'd never see you again. I figured you pulled you off the project. Or did they did? They fed the hypographics and Ziggy, and then, then they fired me. He couldn't do that. Tell Wiseman. But he puts on the portent. Well, the portent is he had a change of heart. I think Wiseman had a heart. Didn't think Wiseman had a heart. He probably doesn't, but his wife does. He slept with his wife. I never... I ran into her one of the not fights. The fights old Barnett was, had some... I don't know, some similar in, in Utah. She was her birthday, you know, the perfect, perfect... And you know the fool forget what happened. Oh well, a couple of drinks, a nice red steak and green chilies. With Wiseman? Oh, Wiseman, you know. Tina, yeah, Wiseman knows her too well, too. You set up Tina with Wiseman and then blackmailed him. Yeah, the unscrupulous but 
that, that, that unscrupulous, but effective. At least you're here. That's the way I figured it. Now I had Ziggy complete, compute the odds and you're being right about fixing Donna's hang-up. Pretty low, huh? Well, if you get Donna and... If you get Donna and her father together, the odds at four to one should commit a relationship... She'll commit to a relation in the future. No offence, but this time I'm going to make Ziggy my best man. Wait a minute, you're forgetting something. What? Well, what? Well, she's engaged to someone. Maybe she, before you met you. Yeah, yeah, so you pull this thing off. You met, she could marry this other jerk first. Commit fashion time. Why well, you used to think you wrote the book just to pick up Brion Native Coeds. You really, really are romantic, aren't you? Well, I, I mean, you're trying to get these two back together, driving 400 miles for the sake of lost love. What I don't, what I don't understand is why you wanted, wanted me here. You remind me of me 20 years, 12 years ago, but you're her. Sweet, bright. She's a quantum physicist. As, then why do you read these books? Those books, we're very much in love and trying to get you to be married. In fact, we had a wedding, or rather I did. She didn't show why. I think she's afraid to commit, afraid to leave her the way her father left her. I don't... I don't want to see you run away when your chance of happiness comes. That's why I'm making you see your father... You're talking to me, to taking me to see my father? Yes, you really are some romantic. I'll show, I, I, I show, I, to show I love you. Think of you, write your name across the sky. May I need help you? Yeah. We're not going to see Colonel Westerfifth. Can I have your name, please? Yeah, I'm Dr. Gerald Bryant. This is Dr. Colonel's, this is the Colonel's doctor, daughter Donna. Oh, Colonel Westerfifth. Oh, thanks, sir. Excuse me. The colonel has a do not disturb on his white line. Well, this is his daughter. Couldn't we see and defend the creation, Mr. Wolski? I see my maiden, well, I, I use my mother's maiden name. I'm sorry, but unless you can prove your, your daughter I can't ring through, you're welcome to wait and hear and catch him when he leaves. Well, that's a little late. He's slipping out of Vietnam this morning. Look, she's driven all night from, uh, 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 to see her father. Couldn't you just, just please give him Call him on the phone and tell him your daughter here. I'm sorry, son. I can't do that. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Yes, it was meant to be. You sound like Ziggy. Who? Something that about the guy, that guy bothers me. There's a car that visits a lot. I didn't see it there earlier. Harry, his car has Odo plates. Check the back. Check the back. I put it on the Jeff alert. Ranger. Oh no. We're going to get in trouble. Don't worry. I'll protect you. So we, it wasn't meant to be. Is this, there was a mistake. No, the mistake was waiting 10 years. I'm sorry, babe. I love you. Oh, it's all I wanted to hear, daddy. But don't leave. It's be the, uh, be the car. Oh, if only is it a little, little younger. Oh, I had, it was a little older. You'll be. Where is Jerry? Where? You know, you didn't, you don't need Dr. Bryant. Not with me here. Well, we're, you're big. Harry, we've got an open door. Please, this is Watergate. We have, we have a break in here. Jamie Lee, you might make me so hot, hot breathless of passion. You seem pretty much pleased with yourself. Yeah, me? Mm, well, I am so. Because they're blowing out microchips. Like that, you're popcorn. He nicks and... He nicks an impeachment. I don't remember. Oh boy, you Republicans would love you. You know, I can't understand you, pal. But you, you're wearing this golf, man. You're still wearing a golf ball screen and Donna is gonna, well, gonna probably end up with marrying that sucker she hooked up before you. Maybe not. Maybe she'll be jilt him and marry him. Wanna bet? Yeah, I've got connections. Then how come you haven't leaped yet? Maybe I need a shotgun. Get up, get up. One, two, three, up. Come on. Four, six, five.